I'm Greg DiBernardo from Bergen Dex in Bergen County, New Jersey. I just wanted to take a few minutes to explain the three main types of synthetic decking on the market today. The first type and the oldest type of decking is composite decking. Now I know the word composite is thrown around kind of like Kleenexes for tissues, um, when in fact composite decking is a very small segment of the deck board uh, industry today. Um, a composite deck board has wood and plastic blended together, hence making it a composite, uh, to form the deck board. And the easiest way to know that you're looking at a composite board over anything else is if you examine the surface of the board, you'll see that there's little uh, fibers of wood uh, at the surface that kind of look like um, little white flakes. That's the wood fiber floating amongst the plastic. Um, composite decking was the first generation of, of synthetic deck board really to, to, to get out into the marketplace. Um, and it, it, it's very popular. However, it's becoming an older technology and we feel that there's better solutions out there than composite because in the world of low maintenance decking, composite decking particularly is the highest maintenance form of low maintenance decking there is. It's, it's harder to clean, it fades, it attracts dirt, it mildews, and it molds. Um, and it does require a high amount of maintenance, um, especially um, if you're in a, a situation with a lot of trees overhead and a, and a lot of uh, uh, shade. It will mold and mildew, and I'm sure that's not what you're looking for. The next type of board that's on the market today is the capped composite. Uh, capped composite is essentially the same composite deck board that we looked at previously. However, the deck manufacturers have encapsulated it with a wear layer that is not composite. It's usually a, a blend of plastics like a PVC. Um, that's proprietary to each board. The benefit of this board is that it's only a little more expensive than a composite board is, but you get a nicer aesthetic. And perhaps the best part of it is that um, it wears and it cleans very easily because there's no exposed wood fiber, there's no organic material on this board for the dirt to cling to and for the mold and the mildew to, to bond to and, and feed on. So cap composites are going to be kind of your, your mid-level board right now. The latest technology to hit the deck, the deck board industry is PVC. Uh, PVC technology has been in the uh, construction industry for quite a while. You may have a white vinyl fence outside your house. You may have vinyl siding on your house. It's a very similar technology um, in the deck board, meaning that it's very low maintenance. Um, the reason why PVC boards are, are so beneficial and are so nice to have is that they're very, very easy to maintain. The whole point of installing uh, a synthetic deck surface is to minimize the amount of maintenance that goes into it. And PVC is going to be the easiest way for you to do that. Um, a PVC board has no organic matter in it. It's solid PVC. Um, there's several different varieties out there. Uh, a board like this, which is an early generation of PVC decking, is solid PVC. There's no, uh, there's no encapsulation on this. The inner core is also the wear layer. This is a newer generation of deck. It's got a PVC core with a cap stock on it that lets the manufacturer put a really nice wood graining pattern in it and to alter the color so it's, it's got a variegated wood grain to it, meaning the color changes like a stained wood board would be. Um, PVC boards, especially the capped PVC, are going to be at the highest end of the deck board market, um, but they're very popular for good reason in that they do provide a long-lasting, very low-maintenance deck surface that is uh, easy to take care of and it really doesn't degrade. Well, I hope this, uh, this little video is informative for you. If you have any questions, you can email me or check us out on our website at bergendex.com. Thanks a lot.